Hey guys, Chris here. We're back at Queensland Raceway, the Car Expert Test Track. Today we've got the Toyota Supra GTS. Now I've driven some fast Supras in my time, but we're in the standard model now. Real drive, 250 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque. Let's see what sort of numbers it can do. First impressions. I really like the seating position. It's nice and low. I'm, I'm let back, which is good. Steering wheel feels a bit big in terms of the circumference. The, the actual size of it's okay, but feels actually like a quite a big wheel for the car. Visibility is excellent. I've got good visibility out the windows. The A-pillar is not too disturbing. I like how I can brace my knee against the um, center console there. So as you enter the corners, especially right-handers, I can sort of brace myself because I don't have a harness. It's obviously uh, still going to have some movement, but but the seat does hold you in place pretty well. Steering feels pretty good, firm, like some heaviness to it, um, but I'm getting some feedback already, which is a nice sign. Let's see the brakes. Just a little bit softer than I'd like on a pedal. Um, on a race car, I want a really firm pedal so I can modulate it well. You don't expect that on a road car, but some sort of firmness is good. Yeah just doesn't quite have the initial bite that I'd like. Now let's try and build up a bit of speed. See if we can feel a bit more about the car. It's already fighting for traction there. We're not even going flat out. The engine's really nice and smooth. It feels like it's got a wide power band. Turns in really nice. That's great. The rear just started to slide a little there. See how it rotates here. Yeah, that's nice, and I can get on the gas. A little bit of sliding from the rear. That's pretty cool, actually. Feels nicely balanced, like it turns in well, it rotates, and then I can, can balance the exit. It does feel a little bit soft, a little bit lazy, just as I lean on the car in the middle of the corner, it just falls over a little bit too much. But that's also a benefit in a way, because it allows the car to squat for mid-corner to exit, and that gives you really good traction off the corner here. So again here, going for our flying lap, traction mode off, but stabilization on. I found that to be the best setting. Everything in sport mode, manual across for the gearbox. It's actually a little bit hard to see the gear, gear shifts and revs, so I'm sort of guessing where to shift. I've sort of got to lean my head, but you can sort of hear it with the engine anyway. All right, let's try and do a good lap. Nice qualifying exit. There we go, 57.74. That's a, a pretty good lap time, sort of in the middle of the leaderboard at the moment, quicker than the AMG A45, a little bit off the uh, BMW 550i, which is a great time for a big car, and uh, a little away from the, the leader, the GT4 Porsche. But I guess the most important thing is it was fun. That was so much fun. It was a challenge, but it's nice to have a, a real drive car where you really have to think about it. Let's talk about the, the negatives first. The braking, just a little bit soft. The, the good thing is that the ABS didn't kick in, but I'd just like a firmer pedal so I could just modulate and get the entry a bit better, but was reasonably consistent, just dropped away a little bit, like the tires do in a road car. On a hot track, 
The other thing is the suspension's quite soft for a track, so you feel a lot of movement and you've got to be a bit careful on the entry of the corners. But it's a benefit on the exits because the car squats so nicely and really launches off the corner and you can use that to your advantage. Also a bit of a compliment to the differential because mid-corner to exit, it's, it's not locking completely, so you've got some slip, but you've got really, really nice, balanced, smooth exit. Steering is nicely weighted, good amount of feedback, and, and it links well with the, the geometry in the front end because I had such great precision, and, and you've got to use that and be mindful of that in a way, but it's also a huge benefit. So if I overcommitted on the steering, I'm going to lose the rear, so I had to be nice and controlled on the entry and let it rotate the rear of the car. The drivability of the engine was excellent and well matched to the gearbox. I thought that was a, a pretty good combination. It's not too peaky. It's a nice wide torque and power band. And when you pick up the throttle, it's, it's not a step. So you can sort of feed the power in and, and control your exit and control the traction. The cool thing about this car is it's a bit like the old Supers. I really feel like you could spend a little bit of money on this and take it to a whole nother level. The chassis is that good. It really gives you great feedback and I think just a bit more support in the suspension and a bit stronger brake pedal. And then you could add a little bit more power and the time is gonna go up a few notches for sure. And you're gonna have good fun on the track and I could keep doing laps in this all day. It's, it's really enjoyable. So let's talk about how I did the lap time in the Supra and the best way to get, get a time out of it. Because the car's quite soft, you do have to be a little bit careful into say turn ones and two, because it does roll a bit. So I tried to get the car in nice and early and settled and then use that torque and power and that squat off the corner. Turn two, I probably did the best I've done it in any car here to date. And I uh, got the car in nice and early. Normally I'd like a slightly later apex, but because the car settled down so nicely, I was able to just get a great drive off the corner feed the power in nicely. Got to be a bit careful on braking and then same with entry. Don't rush the entry, but get the car still rotated and across to the right. So I'm thinking about my exit out of turn four, how I can get the car positioned to drive off this corner and use that, use that squat, use that torque and power and, and then make up the time down the straight because it's not carrying huge amounts of corner speed. So you've got to think about the straights. Turn five and six, it does move around a little bit and again you've just got to be patient get the car to transfer weight settle it down and think about your exit onto the main straight nice late apex get the car rotated so again i can get the rear to squat and just drive off the corner and, and on the fastest lap it just did it perfectly there was just a tiniest bit of slip tiniest bit of rotation and then it just fired down the straight i really enjoyed that lap so there you go, the Toyota Supra GTS. Number one, I had an awesome time in that car. That was fun, uh, enjoyable to drive and a, a real challenge. My top three tips to get the most out of the car, use the front end. The front end grip is amazing. So attack the corners, get the car to rotate in the middle of the corner, but then you gotta be careful. You got plenty of torque and power and only two rear wheels driving the car. So be careful, nice smooth throttle application. And number three, just enjoy it. It's a, a great piece of machinery. It's not at the absolute limit of performance, but it's great fun to drive. Thanks again for watching guys. If you found the video useful, please hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified every time we publish a new video. Really keen to hear your thoughts on this new format. And if you have any questions or feedback, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Take care and I'll see you again next time.